this is James Wilson with MTB Strength Training Systems and BikeJames.com and today I want to give you a few tips on how to get more out of the Bulgarian split squat or rear foot elevated split squat depending upon who you talk to. A couple things that I see people do wrong with this that can make a big difference. First of all, you want to make sure that you get a bench or something that's set up about knee height. So you're looking for something about there. If it's much taller than that, as you come down, you're going to get too much of a stretch on the hip flexor and quad not be able to come down as far. If it's lower than that, we're not really going to get as much out of it. So right there about knee height. Now, once you've got that picked out, the most important thing to getting set up and making sure that you're not putting too much stress on the knee is when you get set, hop out a little bit so that your heel is in front of this knee. If I drop the line, straight down from my knee, you can see my heel is in front of that line. A lot of people get set up like this, straight down. Now what happens here, is as you come down, you see my knees pushing forward, I'm coming on my toes, way more stress on the knee like this. If you get that heel set out in front of the, the knee just a little bit, as you come down, you can see the knee comes forward, but my shin angle remains a lot more neutral. So one of my favorite exercises, this is in probably every one of my programs on some level. Every once in a while I get some feedback from someone who says that this hurts their knees. Nine times out of ten, they've either got a bench that's too high or they have set their heel in too close and they need to hop out a little bit or a combination of the two there. So if you do these two things, you'll be able to do these and uh, not hurt your knees. So um, anyways, uh, once again, it's been James Wilson with MTV Strength Training Systems. You can check me out on the web at bikejames.com. I'll talk to you next time.